Hi guys, it's Tatiana here and I want to talk to you today about uh, the scandal between Piquet and um, Shakira. Uh, I'm sure you've heard about the scandal, about the song that Shakira made uh, about Piquet, about uh, everything that happens between them. And um, I actually think as a therapist that there will be another point of view about everything that had happened uh, from Piquet and from his point of view it will be it will look like a bit different from that uh, point of view that we saw and we heard uh, on her song uh, because you know divorce and the problems in the um, couple uh, in the marriage um, is always complicated because you will never know what is um, objectively happened between the uh, the pair uh, between the um, couple uh, and it's it's very difficult not to take somebody's side you know because um the version of Shakira is that Piquet was uh, okay cheating on her, uh, was uh, um, putting I don't know his mother to live nearby Shakira, and uh, that he's uh, a bad person, that some other blames. But the point is that we we will never know what is true from that because. If we will hear his point of view, he will. I'm sure he would have his questions and his things to address. Uh, he he will, you know, uh, point out some other um, things that was wrong between them in their marriage. But I want to talk to you um, in this video about sublimation. This is a, a very, very good technique and a very good uh, resource that we have in therapy, for example. So uh, the principle of that is that you are taking uh, the negative energy from something. In this case, it's negative energy from uh, Shakira being hurt and you re re redirect it in something uh, different in something good in something that could be um, a resource for you so uh, if we analyze this situation for example what made Shakira she could have uh, cry at home she could have uh, uh, you know blame herself she could have uh, close herself at her home uh, she could have suffered should be uh, she, she could have um leave herself in that pain uh you know she could have do it like this but instead of doing like this i'm not telling this is wrong strategy you know everybody has uh, his own or her own reaction to what had happened and everybody has uh their coping strategies how to deal with stress with pain uh with uh somebody cheating on you and um, you know with all of these things because the, all of this is happening in the real life every day and so every person has its own strategy how to face it it's important to really face it not to ex ex uh, escape from that not to um, you know live like nothing happened or something like that but it's it's very important to address that feelings and so what she did she did uh, she took a very negative um, experience and she she uh, redirected in something good for her so uh, for uh, creative people who, who for people who are uh, musicians who are actors who are uh, public persons, um, it's, uh, it's, it is working better because you always can write a beautiful song about it or 
um, you know, use it as a part of your character if you are playing somebody in a movie or uh, to, to create something beautiful from it. It's always like that. So at the same time, first of all, you're pushing away, you, you're pushing all of this negative energy from inside of you. And um, from the other side, at the same time, you take this negative experience and you make it become positive. The total opposite, you know, that what happens. And actually everybody can do that. It's not only about for the people who are famous or for uh, celebrities or for somebody uh, to, that uh, are like uh, special people. It's for everybody. You can do it as well. Uh, you can always turn it to be instead of be painful. I mean, it remains painful. It's not that you are doing that and the pain is gone. Not. It's not like that, but you feel better after that, you know? And of course, uh, 2023 is already uh, forecasted to be uh, as a revealing, um, as, a, as a year of revelation of uh, sexual scandal uh, and uh, revelations and uh, uh, a lot of secrets will be uh, put in uh, outside for us and we will get to know a lot of things that we didn't know before. And so I think this is a, a tool that everybody can use in their life. If you break up with your boyfriend, if you break up with your girlfriend, you always can use it as a tool to, to deal with this pain, you know? Um, today, for example, I will tell you an example, right? Today, um, I want... Uh, yesterday, I found out the information that, about uh, Tony Robbins, that Tony Robbins is doing a three-day uh, training uh for free and i wanted uh, to participate in this and one of the um, conditions in which you could participate uh, it was uh, to publish uh your own photo uh on the page of this uh challenge uh in facebook and uh, to introduce yourself, where are you from, how old are you, what do you do in your life, what are you expect, expecting from this uh, course, from this marathon. Uh, and um, I did it. And you know, most of uh, people who commented there were full of support, so, uh, really nice words. Um, I was uh, revealing the time from Kiev, and a lot of people were writing uh, the words of support that they are standing with Ukraine, that everybody is supporting Ukraine, that people are praying for Ukraine. It was a very beautiful uh, experience until one not very smart guy uh, was commenting below uh, my uh, post that like some uh, misogynistic things like that I'm uh, a hooker, that I'm uh, like a prostitute or something like that, that, um, you know, all of Ukrainians are gold diggers, that uh, all of uh, Ukrainians are stupid girls, that are only beautiful, that are uh, selling themselves for money or something like that. And um, honestly, uh, it was painful, you know, because uh, we are living in 2023 and I was not expecting something like that, you know, because, um, yeah, I mean, I don't know, I'm a person who has two degrees and uh, I speak five languages fluently and I'm working on myself every day and I clearly understand that, like, 
or I don't deserve something to to read something like this about myself or about my nation. The, first of all, this is very racistic. The second of all, this is very misogynistic. And so um, I was feeling upset, honestly to say. Um, but after some time, I was thinking like, okay, this is painful. Maybe I need to work on myself to make myself stronger so I will not react next time when somebody is uh, like much worse than me, myself, mu much less smarter, much less uh, good person, much less uh, per hardworking person is commenting like this below uh, my post, I will not react. But for now, I'm reacting, I'm a person, this is okay, and I will use it as a resource. So I'm talking to you about this experience in this video, you know. This is how I change it into a resource for me, into something good for me. So this can be an example for you from my real life, how it works. And you can use it in your life. And um, I just want to tell you uh, to, you should really understand because, you know, some people were, were trying to, to text me uh, in some in comments below that like, uh, let him go, he's just a stupid person. He's just, he doesn't deserve your attention. You are just beautiful. He cannot handle it and so on. I mean, I understand, but I think that it's very important to understand that such people need to be call, called out. You know, you need to call out such people because in our era of transparency, of... Uh, you know, love in society, of acceptance, and so on, and so on, such people need to understand that they are doing wrong. So don't let it go. You don't need to let it go. Um, I was um, blocking him. I was, uh, how to say, I was reporting uh, harassment on Facebook. He was blocked, this guy, maybe they even throw uh, the, him from this challenge, from this three days uh, course of Tony Robbins. I hope so, actually. And this is how he was punished for, for what he did. Because you don't need to forgive something like that, you know, because such guys are going from one place to other place to harass people, to, you know, doing some some really really bad comments for people to make them upset and they are not getting anything for that so i think such people need to be first of all called out and you need to uh, really uh, report harassment if you are on social media and uh, second of all you can do a resource from this as I did, as I made you example today. I hope this was uh, useful for you. I hope that my English is already better than the last time, because uh, last time it was the very first video, today is the second video, and I'm feeling better today. I'm feeling more free to perform. And um, please support me in my video, my channel. Please uh, put the thumbs up. Please uh, subscribe and please leave the comment down below how you handle uh, this kind of situation. What do you think about this? Maybe you want to know something about other topic that is important for you from psychology, from, from, psychology, from coaching, from something else. And we see each other in uh, the next video. Love you.